Right, welcome to the uh, third part of this uh, tank testing series. Today it's the uh, feeder bream. Uh, if you look at the dry content, it's uh, quite coarse. It's not not too many big particles particles in it, but it is quite coarse. Uh, when it's mixed up, it does fluff up fluff up quite a lot, as you can see from that. I'm just going to try it with a feeder. I mixed this up about an hour ago. Wet it three times and milled it off. See what this one works out like. So it does bulk out quite a lot once you've wetted it. As you would kind of expect for a bream ground bait. It's kind of, as you would expect, a very sweet aroma to it. I can't quite work out what it is. I think it's like some kind of vanilla-y kind of uh, scent to it. Um, as you can see, it is quite a, a light mix, so I wouldn't really advise using this uh, during the winter months because, yeah, it is a bit... Well, it does work. It's just, obviously, if you're trying to catch anything that swims, then this might not be the right one for you. It's quite sticky, even though I've only... I've mixed it a bit on the dry side, if you know what I mean, but it is quite sticky. But as you can see from the, the feeder, it has, actually does release it quite quick. <coughs> There's hardly any particles coming off, it might be the odd one or two that are floating, but the rest is uh, quite safe on the bottom, which means it is an inert mix, so I'll definitely Good for the brain but you can put some black uh, dye in it to darken it off a bit but actually I prefer using like lighter mixes if you're just targeting big fish then obviously the small fish will back off from such a light color ground bait which is basically the whole idea anyway so you can mix it with turbo black or feeder turbo black just to darken it off if you want to which I've done quite a few times or mix it with feeder gold which is a bit a bit more of a it's, of course, it's like a dark brown kind of colour they both work really well together I'll just give that a quick shake see what happens you do get a little bit of a cloud come off it quite interesting to see that most of the particles there's one or two little bits coming off but they're starting to sink back down again. Interesting to see. Yes, obviously, if you if you're trying to move your feeder, obviously it will move a little bit. It will disperse some of the ground bait a bit more. But yeah, well, like I said, most of it stays where it's well, where it was. That's just a, a three hole um, 30 gram feeder. I think it's a 30 gram or it could be a 20 gram. Sorry, it's a 20 gram. Yeah, quite interesting. So you can see the particles that did float have started to sink back down to the bottom again. There's still a little bit of a cloud there. Very interesting. Um, if you've got any questions, as, as usual, just pop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Cheers.